here again great I mean, a great environment um, to see our fans I want to thank them for coming out they were awesome our students <laughs> everybody the band the cheerleaders the dance team it was a great environment we obviously played in the lead team one day to prepare um, you know played hard um, you have to be elite playing that team they're the most physical team in the league and um, you know they were able to you know Posed their will in the first four minutes, I thought, of the second half on us and get some easy baskets. And uh, But they're well coached. Obviously, he's a Hall of Fame coach with good players and does a great job. So, you know, got to give them credit. Steve, uh, Tom was just up here saying how much he hates the schedule this week. How much was wear down a factor during the second half? Um, you know, I, I, again, you just have to play at elite level. You know, certainly would have liked a couple days to prepare. It's tough when you get back at 3 a.m. from trip to Miami but you know we had chances and you know we played well in spurt you got to play 40 minutes against a team like that that's ranked and should be in the top five um, you know they got a lot of weapons they got shooters they got ball handlers I thought Winston was unguardable at times he made some you know just tremendous shots and Langford's a problem and Ward inside almost had a whole front court in foul trouble so obviously a really good team and you want to be well rested and well prepared for a game like that and, and you can't be you had four guys with two fouls heading into the halftime. You mentioned the foul trouble. Just how hard was that to, to manage? And Yeah, do? I mean, that's what they do. So, I mean, Ward, Ward causes problems. You know, I thought our guys did a great job. I got to give Caleb. Our bench came off and gave us great minutes. All the guys were ready to play, which is a good sign, you know, moving forward. And, um, you know, the guys that haven't played as much were ready to go in a big, big game. So, you know, it was, uh, it was good to see. Got a lot of contributions, but we don't have a long time to think about this. We have to turn the page. We got a really good, I think, playing as well as anybody in the conference. You know, Wisconsin on the road, tough place to play. So we got them up next. Okay. Did, we set, did we 72 hours kind of give you a glimpse of what this, the potential of this team is and also how far it has to go? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, we're just, you, you know, it, give, it gives you a sign, like, you know, that's the, the best team in the league. They're picked number one. And, uh, you know, but when our place is rocking like the way it was, it gives us a lot of a lot of energy. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of young players. But, you know, I like this team. This team has a good vibe about it. They, they like each other. Um, you know, uh, you, you know, I feel really good, you know, about where we are. But we have a long way to go in the best league in the country. And, Seven teams are ranked and nine getting votes. I mean, it's the league we're in now. It's it's a war. Steve, you mentioned Caleb. Can you just add to what you thought he did in the first half to uh, keep you guys level? Yeah, I thought he was. You know, Gio got in some foul trouble, and I thought he was. You know, stepped right in and was ready to go. So, uh, you know, proud of him. He's been working hard. You know, sometimes when you're playing behind a really good guard, you don't always get a lot of opportunities. But when you do get them, uh, he took advantage of it today. So, real happy, happy for him. He's a worker. He's going to be a real good player for us. Your offense times where you uh, sub for going with your bigs to, to match their bigs, is that something we're looking forward to this season or just for the matchup ahead? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I trust all my bigs. I trust all my players on the team. You know, we had a ton, ton of foul problems, and they run the they run the ball up the court. It's a tiring kind of game, too. So you know, I trust all those guys. They're all, you know, capable of really helping us, as you saw today. So, um, you know, it depends on the teams. It depends on the matchups, you know, some of the lineups. Any more questions? Uh, just one more for me. I'm sorry. So, how do you approach the next game? You got the third game in six days now. Wisconsin. What are the keys to? Get yeah, back I mean, to that? we're in. They need a good night's rest, and and we need to get right back to work tomorrow. So we fly out on Sunday. So it's not a lot of time to, you know, uh, not a lot of time to think about this game. You know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, the players will say it's a good thing. Sure. Heldrone against top ranked team in the Big Ten, does that give you hope getting into the, you know, after this break, getting into the Big Ten schedule that you can, you know, dig out of the basement and, and be here? Oh, we're not worried about that. We just play every game that's in front of us. We're going to play hard like we did tonight. You know, again, we're going to play all elite teams and, you know, we have to play really well. And we got, you know, some weapons. We got, you know, some, obviously some things we have to continue to get better at. We're only six, seven games into the season. So, uh, you know, it's a young group, but um, I'm excited about, you know, where we are and, uh, you know, we got to continue. We got a good game plan here moving forward. We got to continue to get better. We got a good player coming in next year, and, and we're going to keep developing our guys. I think if you see the development of guys, Shaq Dorson today, I think you, you, you can kind of see where, where this thing's headed, hopefully. Thank you, everyone.